Hey everyone, welcome back to Howtex. Today we're going to demonstrate the setup for the ECM PCV80U, which is a Sony USB mic. So in this video, not only will we connect the hardware, but we'll make sure that it gets recognized here on the software side. So this is a MacBook Pro, and as you can see, it's running El Capitan OS 10 version 10.11.6, just in case that matters. Actually, it should be pretty much the same no matter how old you're computer is or what the new version is by the time you see this video okay anyway so uh, this is completely new we've never even connected it up before so basically you have your headphone jack uh, you want to take this uh, USB audio box which is basically just a small analog to digital converter and there's two plugs in here audio out and microphone so you want to just make sure that you plug into the correct one so the red one obviously Plug that guy in. So here you have the uh, USB cable that came with the device and uh, you have a mini USB as well as a full-size USB-A and so plug this guy in and then plug that into any of the USB ports on your computer. In this case we'll do this one and as you can see we have now the UAB80 uh, has shown up here in addition to the internal microphone and so the key thing here is that this box is called the UAB80 so I guess that's the part number for just this and that's the thing that it recognizes because it doesn't know what microphone is plugged in because it's just a uh, regular 3.5 millimeter jack so all it knows is the identifier for this box okay so you can see the internal microphone is uh, selected here and is showing the output uh, let's switch to the UAB80 and no sound you know why because there's an on off switch here so don't forget to turn that to on and now let's see what we have yeah so we're getting sound here and as you can see it's going and so also if you're using QuickTime uh, you can do an audio recording and uh, when you're doing an audio recording you can select your input source so we have the built-in here let's switch over to the UAB80 and so now, uh, let's try speaking into it. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So uh, it definitely gets a good strong signal, but you have to have uh, you know, it pointing towards your mouth. So I guess that's probably good. It's not gonna pick up as much background noise. Okay, so let's just do a quick uh, recording comparison between the built-in audio and the uh, UAB80 here on the PC mic. So uh, let's do just recording with the internal microphone. I'm about two feet away from the computer. So let's go. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay, let's try another one. This is with the Sony mic from about the same distance as the built-in speaker. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. But there's no need to actually have it that far away, so let's try it with it closer to your mouth. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay, and last but not least, let's try it with Apple earbuds with the built-in microphone. And we'll plug it into the headphone jack, which also serves as the line-in port. You can now see on the control panel it shows external microphone on the microphone port. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay, so now we actually have four different versions. Um, two with the mic, both close and far away. And then also the built-in speaker and then also a uh, Apple earbuds microphone as well. And uh, let's just do one quick comparison. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay, that sounded pretty uh, loud and also very clear. So definitely you want to keep this microphone 
close to your mouth when you're using it. Don't try to record uh, you know, an entire room, just have it really close up to your mouth and you should get a nice clear signal. Okay, so what do you think? Which one is better? Uh, I think it's a pretty big toss up between the uh, Sony microphone close up to your mouth and the built-in headphones uh, microphone. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you have any feedback, please let us know. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Howtex. See you next time. Bye. So today I'm going to do a quick comparison video uh, with three audio sources. One is with the Sony uh, microphone. One is the built-in microphone.